We're currently trialling a drone program where we're using drone technology to spread grassland style pellets on mimosa bush and other woody weeds to reduce the amount of resources that we need to be able to achieve that outcome. So this is the bush that was killed that we treated last year. Uh, as you can see it's, it's well and truly started to die um, and you can see how underneath the grasses are starting to return. We have here a, an example of Mitchell grass which is um, starting to regenerate now that we've got the canopy opened up a bit. This is what we hope to encourage more of over the next, uh, next couple of years. You can also see around here, you can see pig tracks. So the mimosa then becomes a, a, an actual haven for pigs and feral animals such as pigs and, and, uh, and foxes and, and, and the like. And uh, so it just adds to, to the problems that we have. So the main reason for the trial is that we're trying to improve the efficiency of, do, of doing the, the process by hand. The drone technology allows us to be able to get it up and over and above the mimosa, so it takes away the problems and the hazards of having to walk through it. So you've got problems with snakes, you've got problems with getting thorns and, and damage to equipment, but you've also, uh, you can't see where you're at and what you've done and where you've been. By having it from a, a higher level, you actually can map it and then you can do it a more uniform application. Obviously there is a cost to, to using the new technology, but when you offset that against the efficiency of, of being able to do the job a lot quicker and using a lot less staff and having the problems with breakdowns and, and the issues of workplace health and safety hazards, it becomes a far better option for us because we're already stretched with our labour and resources. Some of the things we're trying to achieve with this project is to return the functionality of the TSR. We're trying to reduce the amount of woody weeds that block stock access. Uh, we've also got a lot of weeds that grow with the mimosa, such as your African box lawn and your harissia cactus and your prickly pear and your tiger pear. Not only does it make it very difficult for us to be able to get in to control those weeds, which are a biological hazard, actual use of the TSR, it becomes quite hazardous for drivers to be able to try and work their way through these areas because what happens is in this area particularly on the Guada Highway uh, near Palamalawar the only access that's clear enough for drivers to be able to walk their stock through is on the highway and then that puts stock directly in contact with motor vehicles so you not only to have the safety of the driver you also have the safety of, of people on the highway using the roads because stock actually have to ride away unfortunately a lot of people don't realise that and they, they don't slow down. So we're, by addressing this here, we're addressing a safety issue, we're addressing an environmental issue, and we're addressing a community issue.